Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about a major beauty influencer that has been caught lying for a major brand. And as such, Jeffree Stars was called back to the table to review major beauty brand products because people are saying that Jeffree Stars will give you as it is and there ain't no one that can pay him to lie about their products. Now guys, on the screen we have that female who is Michaela Nogora, if I have her last name pronounced correctly. Michaela was caught lying about a mascara. She was telling her fans that the mascara, you know, gave you that full lash effect that made it seem as though you were wearing lashes, but you're not. But in reality, Michaela was caught wearing lashes. And it is said that this is something that she does quite often. And people would go in and like, okay, the product is good. I'm going to buy it. But when they buy it, they don't like it. So Jeffree Stars was called in to review this mascara. And I'm going to play that clip from Jeffree Stars so you can see how much people lie. Because listen, Jeffree Stars even tagged Michaela and he was brutally honest. I'm going to play the clip, then I'll get back with the rest of my commentary. Well, hello everyone, welcome back. Normally you're used to hearing welcome back to my channel, but bitch, we're on TikTok now. I've taken two months off from reviewing makeup and girl, y'all really awoken up the Loch Ness Monster. So allegedly the telescopic lift L'Oreal mascara is the best mascara in the world and no brand may ever be able to compete with it. All right, let's open this up and address the hot topic. So allegedly, L'Oreal has been sending out this mascara and Miss Michaela reviewed it. The internet blew the fuck up and a lot of people think that she's wearing a false lash at the end of her eye. Now, as a makeup artist, since I was 20 years in the game, bitch, I, it looks peculiar. It looks bizarre. The mascara's on, it looks cute, and then all of a sudden there's a, a swish and all of a sudden there's some extra shit on the end and I don't know what the fuck it is. So we're gonna review this unbiased. You couldn't pay me a million dollars to say this shit's fucking good. You can't pay me anything because I make my own money, my own dollar, I'm independent and there's nothing wrong with taking sponsorships. Let me just start off by saying that. Get your coin, get your hustle. But Michaela, you set the tone now. I used to set the tone on YouTube. When I said something did not work, the fucking internet knew I was telling the truth. So when people are distrusting you, you gotta understand why. So let's just give this a swirl and then we'll give our final thoughts. This is a vegan formula. Miss L'Oreal is now charging $14.99 for a mascara and they're paying people a lot of money. So I wanna be honest with you guys. I used to be friends with all the influencers, right? <laughs> Rest in peace. And I would see them accept $100,000, $250,000 to say a product was good. And they would lie. I would see it, it would make me sick to my stomach and I'm glad that I don't associate with those people anymore. All right, so we're supposed to lift and load our lashes using the front hook bristles. We're gonna apply from root to tip. Use the side hook comb to separate your lashes for added volume and length. All right, let's apply this mascara from root to tip. Let me get the very ends of my lash line and get the full thing. Of course, this is one coat. No filter. All right, so here is the mascara, Miss L'Oreal on the right, and here is nothing blank basic bitch on this side. All right, the mascara is fully on. It's really pretty. I think the bottom lashes look stunning. Now, but you guys, I have reviewed about 100 mascaras on TikTok and YouTube combined, and girl, it's cute. It's very affordable. I love that it's $15. It separated the lashes. It looks pretty. Is it the greatest thing on the planet? No, but I'm not getting paid to say that. So I really just want to give one last statement. You guys are allowed to like whoever you want, respect whoever you want, watch whoever you want, but be careful. Do not be influenced so easily by people and be careful. A lot of these people are accepting money. They have things to pay for. They got a life to live and I don't know. It makes me very uncomfortable. The beauty space has changed immensely and there's only a few top dogs now. And if they're gonna be lying to everyone, bitch, then I'm never going away. Well, I know that a lot of people have their reservations about Jeffree Stars because of his past and because of being called out to be about being R-A-C-I-S-T. But it seems as though Jeffree Stars has changed somewhat because we've seen where he's, you know, supporting A, he's supporting Britney, and he's now dedicating his time to expose influencers that are lying so that major makeup brands can profit off people. 
He's like, no, you have summoned me, you have awoken me, and I am back for good. And this is not a bad thing because, listen, we used to have Jackie Aina that reviews makeup. And when Jackie Aina reviewed KKW Beauty product, Kim Kardashian posted all the influencers and they left Jackie Aina out because she was brutally honest in the reviews. Now, Jackie Aina is not doing so much makeup reviews again. She's focusing on her brand. And as such, we need someone out here to be exposing these brands. Bethany does it, but she's soft and subtle about it. We need people that are brutally honest like Jeffree Star is, and I believe that he's just delivering as it should. No pity party, no prettying up that the product is not that good. So guys, I thought that it is a good share. So in case you come across Michaela, you know that, you know, if you're going to buy a product that she tries, you're going to do so at your own risk and not by what she's saying. Now, many people may argue that she has a wedding coming up. You know, she needs to cover the cost of her lavish wedding, but it doesn't warrant her lying to millions of people who trust her judgment. That's totally wrong. So guys, I want to share this with you for educational purposes. So I want to hear from you. Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you familiar with Michaela? Do you think that she's always been honest? Uh, or would you go off buying a product based on Jeffree Star's review? I want to hear from you. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and remember to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay sweet, stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.